Okay, we're back to Barry's Symposium. Um, 1.6 is what we're still working on, so you can save it as that. This time we're focusing on color. The first half of our project was about font, size, style, kerning, line shift, brackets, um, manipulation, typing on a path, all these things, but now we're dealing with colors, and colors in every kind of way you can think of. So we're going to do color shades, solid colors, gradient colors, um, blends of colors, which is like a gradient. We're going to manipulate the color to be certain light in areas and darker in others. So here we go. Open up Berry Symposium, the latest version, 1.6 or whatever you have. Um, just going to hover over some of these buttons to let you know we're going to be using, um, we've used the type tool. But there's a gradient button right over here. It's called a gradient tool. This is our tools panel, our menu bar. All right, we're all good. I still have my type um, box open, my type window open, so I'm going to close that out. If I need to get back, it's Control T or Window Type Character. Um, it says to show the guide, so click View, Guides, Show Guides, and Control Semicolon opens it up. The guides are here, and let's begin. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I like to do that. Control plus is to zoom, or hit the magnifying glass on the left and draw an imaginary box around it. And you're now zoomed in. I immediately click my selection tool so I don't make any mistakes or zoom in a little too close. Um, it says create a four-inch circle at the top, at the center of the artboard. So similar to this circle, we're going to click and hold our rectangle tool to get to our ellipse tool. And the center is right here, and it says center or intersect is actually better. So, we can always rearrange it. That's my center. I'm going to click one time, and it has a four inch circle. So, four, four. If the I in appears on the width or the height, that means it's going to appear on the other side for the other one. So, we're good. Four inches a piece. That's our circle. It did not move to the center, but that's okay. It has a fill. That's our fill is black, and our stroke is none. We're going to be editing that soon. I'm going to click the selection tool, make my new circle active. I'm going to drag it so that I can see. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm going to undo that, click the artboard, then click my circle tool so that just the circle tool is selected. The circle shape is selected with my selection tool. Then I'm going to click and hold. I'm going to drag, and do you see that blue X? The green line it lines up, and it's going to say intersect, I believe. The green line to the left and the green line going down means it is smack dead on the center of my artboard, which is where I want it to be. Still have the selection tool there. The guides we don't need. We just needed it to center it a little bit, so we're all done. I'm going to go up top to... Um, I'm not going to hide the guides because they'll tell us that a little bit later, but um, actually it says it now. I'm sorry. So go up top to view, guides, and hide guides. Our guides are gone. Now it tells us to go to Wadiant. Excuse me. On our menu bar, you're going to click Window. Then it says click the Gradient option to open up the Gradient panel, and that dude right there is a gradient so if we minimize it you'll see him over there we can open up the gradient panel now I have my two colors are black and white so that's how they give us an option for the gradient up above um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it up a little bit so that's open it says click the blended rainbow swatch on the swatches panel I don't have a swatches panel so I'm gonna go up top to swatches that's our color guide that's our color, and I'm not seeing swatches. If you don't see swatches, go up top to window, and there's your swatches right there. Swatches usually looks like this checkered kind of pattern over here, and I'm just going to drag this up to be really close to my gradient. Okay, so they're kind of close. Great. doesn't matter where it is. As long as you know how to get to it, that's fine. All right, so after you open the swatches panel, you're going to look for something that looks like a rainbow, and it says blended rainbow. Click the blended rainbow swatch on the swatches panel, and your whole object turns rainbow. You see, our fill 
is active so if yours didn't change make sure you undo and then click fill and then make sure you click that rainbow after that it says click the gradient panel options button that gradient panel options button you have to make sure that you click your gradient first so I was on swatches so I click gradient right here if you don't see gradient in your menu it should be over here for gradient and then remember you can always go to window and then click gradient if it's not on your right side for two panels after you click that gradient panel button you're gonna go ahead and click the down arrow and it's supposed to say show options my options were seen already so mine said hide so when you click that arrow click show options and you have all kinds of fun things to do with your gradient options over here next up it says click that yellow color stop if you haven't noticed this is our gradient slider a gradient breaks down one color to another and everything in between so there these are the spectrums of colors up top these are stops and these are also well, I'm not, I'm not saying it now but one is a diamond stop and this is a gradient color stop anyway on the gradient slider it says to click the yellow gradient the yellow stop on the gradient slider so we did that that's active and that little triangle shows us that it is active after we click it to make it active it says drag it straight down now watch what happens we drag that yellow straight down and the yellow is now gone okay yellow is completely taken out of our gradient so it's going from red to this dark blue and yellow is gone I'll undo to show you makes a difference okay so I'm do it again click hold and I'm gonna drag that yellow out once the yellow stop is dragged out it's gone alright um, it says to delete all of the stops except for the first and the last stop so that's red and that's blue I'm gonna go ahead and delete all those stops remember we delete by we click hold drag down so that's one two three four all of our stops are done you have a dark you have a red going to a dark blue next up it says click the selection tool we already have that selected and selected excuse me and it says click the bottom edge of the gradient slider the bottom edge of the gradient slider is over here to add a new color stop so you know how we were clicking and dragging the color stops down instead of clicking and dragging them down now we're going to add one if you see that plus sign that means you're in the right area if you move your mouse up the plus sign goes away so right below it it has a plus sign you're just gonna click it says the bottom edge so just click that it doesn't matter where you click it I clicked around the middle cuz if it's in the middle you need the right or completely wrong so I clicked in the middle we have our stop over there it's our new color stop and it says um, we added a new color stop it says drag the stop along the slider that means we're going to drag it along the slider to 50 now if you look at the location here 49.46 is pretty darn close but they didn't say drag it to pretty darn close they said drag it to 50 so I'm at 50 I just typed it in 50 is there and now we're on the right track it says drag each of the diamond sliders to 50 within the location so remember I said these are diamonds I'm gonna click one it's active meaning it's black our location is 41 select that now that's 50 again same thing over here our location for this diamond slider is 29 we're gonna select that and make that 50 good I know this video is pretty long just give me a minute I got about four or five more steps I'm gonna stop it and we're gonna save this as very symposium 1.6 like we already have it all right so once we have that done over there it says verify that all verify that the new stop is selected so make sure click that our new color stop is selected It has a black little triangle on top and it says hold the alt key and then click squash on the swatches panel again um with the new color stop active I'm sorry right there it says hold the alt key down and click squash on the swatches panel now unfortunately you have to have both shown and that's a little bit tricky so this is what I'm gonna do this is my remedy okay we were just on gradients right 
why don't you just take hold the label gradient and drag that thing right out down right below over here we're removing it from its docking station so this is the docking station it's all docked see how it's docked and it's hooked up in there and it's part of the family now this is like the lonely kid and it's by itself now that enables us to see swatches you can drag either out it doesn't matter but I can see my gradient and my swatches now and that's what's up the instructions tell us to click the middle color stop or the um, latest of the newest color stop hold the alt key and then you're gonna move over here now look at our swatches if I hover over it it tells me what the name is of course it doesn't okay I let it go of the alt key and it does alright so that's sunshine squash is traditionally orange so that's squash so let's do it again so I'm gonna hold the alt key after that's selected and that is our squash so we're gonna click the squash while holding the alt key and then it says it says compare it to the figure right now after holding the alt key clicking the new stop holding the alt key and then clicking the squash the new color that new color stop now transforms to squash and you have a red first color stop squash second color stop and that dark blue third color stop and your circle should look just like mine I'm gonna take time to save this because Man, that was a lot of hard work. Since they know that you know how to change color stops, they're going to have us change some other ones. So our first color stop is red. Let's going to change that. Click the first color stop, make it active. That triangle changes to black. That means it's active. Hold the Alt key down. Go back to swatches. While you're on swatches, black should be your first option. So click black. All right, and now your first color stop is black. Your second color st stop is squash. And then it says repeat the previous step to apply black to the third stop. So we're going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to click that color stop, the third one. Hold Alt key, then click the black squash, the black swatch. And now we have black, orange, black. I'm going to file save because we've been working hard. Compare your object and the gradient to mine again three color stops two diamond stops the first one is black squash black each diamond stop is 50 percent as its location please don't mess that up because it won't distort your colors right now we're about two or three steps from the end so let's go the next step tells us to double click the squash stop that's the middle one and it opens um, this thing up. Whew, that was close. Alright, so these are our swatches. If you go up to the color and click that color um, button right there. After you click the color button, you're CMYK. We're going to go to these numbers over here and you're going to change them to exactly what I have. So, um, C is 5, M is 95. Y is 95 and K is 3. After you do that, hit enter. All right, and that's that funky red. We got that. I'm hype. I want to say file save and we'll keep it moving. Okay, all is well. What we need to do now is mess around with something called a gradient panel. All right, if you see, we're in the gradient section the panel has to be something over here now this says linear we're looking for something that says radial so hit the down arrow and ta-da radial watch what happens to our shape and now changes to that circle and that represents radial after we have radial the instructions state click the diamond at the top of the gradient oh here we go diamond at the top of the gradient slider between the first two stops good one stop two stop that diamond click that it's active and it's black that's what's up after you click that diamond it says drag it to 87 percent I'm not a big dragger over here but I can definitely mess with the location I highlight that 87 percent hit enter and now yours should look like mine the rings are a little exaggerated over here the black is a little more uh, predominant. I'm going to undo so you, so you can see exactly the difference. So this is what it should like. 
that's what it used to look like. I'm going to go to edit and redo instead of going through that process. And we're